the new 2019 Altima sees the model's most ambitious changes in more than a decade, bringing not only the expected all-new styling and additional tech but also one new engine and one that has been heavily revised plus, for the first time, an all-wheel drive option. Nissan has broomed the V6 engine as the step-up powertrain offering, replacing it with a turbocharged inline-4. The Turbo 4 is the company's variable compression 2.0 liter, just introduced in the Infiniti QX50. In the Altima, it makes 248 horsepower and 273 pounds FT of torque versus 270 ponies and 251 pounds FT for today's 3.5 liter V6. It's optional on the sporty-themed senior model and on the range-topping Platinum. The new Altima is longer, lower, and wider than before, its wheelbase has been stretched and the front overhang trimmed slightly. The styling trades the car's previous flowing shapes for a more linear design. Nissan's V-shaped grille is taller and broader, but the brand's boomerang-shaped taillights are more subdued. The Altima also adopts a floating roof design as seen on the Maxima and other Nissans. The color palette has been amped up, with scarlet ember and sunset drift, orange metallic shades joining the usual variations of white, silver, gray, and black. The Altima will be available with Nissan's much-touted ProPilot Assist. Already offered on the Leaf and the Rogue, this enhanced adaptive cruise control adds a degree of steering assist but not hands-free capability. In the Altima, it will be standard on SV, SL, and Platinum trims. The Altima also gains rear-automated emergency braking, which can apply the brakes if it senses a collision when the car is backing up. It too, is standard on SV, SL, and Platinum models, as are lane departure warning, lane keeping assist, and traffic sign recognition. Forward collision warning, front automated emergency braking, and a driver alertness monitor are standard on all models, while blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert are standard on all but the base S.